Today, I will be demonstrating Raw Power, a Photos extension and standalone application for Mac OS Sierra that is available on the Mac App Store. Raw Power gives you unparalleled control over Apple's Raw Engine, the same Raw Engine used by Photos, iPhoto, and Aperture. Some of the controls in Raw Power exceed even those offered by Aperture, and all of them are real time and GPU accelerated. You use the Raw Power extension by selecting an image in the Photos Edit View and selecting it from the Extensions button. The first thing to note is that the image looks exactly the same as it did in Photos. That's because it's using the same raw decoder that Photos is using. As a result, your starting point is exactly what you saw in Photos. Now I'll give you a brief tour of the interface. If you used Aperture, then this interface will look very familiar to you. At the top are the tools. Rotate, Flip, Show Original, and the Zooming Controls. Below that is the histogram. The four circles are clipping indicators, which update in real time as you adjust the image. In this image, all the indicators are lit, which means the image is clipped in red, green, blue, and luminance. They also act as hot pixel controls to show you which pixels are clipped. If I click on the first circle, you will see hot and cold pixels. This is an overlay that is analogous to the feature in Aperture. Red pixels should mean that the pixels are clipped in at least one channel, and blue pixels are black, which means that they are zero in all channels. The other circles are channel specific, which tells you if you have pixels clipped in red, green, or blue. In this image, most of the clip pixels are clipped in blue. Access to per-channel clipping can be useful, especially when using the curves adjustment in raw power. Next is the raw processing adjustment. This is the heart of raw power and is the way you can control Apple's raw decoder. In a later video, I will be showing you these controls in detail. There is also white balance, tone, basic color controls, a powerful curves adjustment, and a sharpener. Raw power is particularly effective with overexposed images, as you will see now. When faced with an image like this, people typically will use exposure or highlights or recovery to try to recover the detail in the waves. And you can see how much detail is there if I bring the exposure slider down. However, if you do use controls like this, you'll find that you don't really get as much detail as you saw before. And in fact, the, the image now looks in the wave area a little bit muddy. Nothing like what we saw when we just brought exposure down. That's because there's another filter running at the same time. A filter that is fighting your corrections. That filter is Boost. Boost is an important part of Apple's raw processing, and normally it's very helpful in making images look good. It's so important to be able to control it though that it's the first slider in raw power. One of its functions, of Boost functions, is to brighten up images. So as you make the image darker, Boost has a tendency to make it brighter again. That's what I mean by fighting with you. To prevent that, we're going to turn down Boost. If we turn it all the way down, we'll get a more linear or flatter looking image, which can also be a really good way to start adjusting your image, if you're going to basically develop the whole image yourself. In our case, we're going to take some of the advantage of Boost being there and just turn it down about halfway. Now, as you can see here, the image does get a little bit darker, but not much, and we're not really getting much back in the terms of detail. But this is just the first step, and this is an essential first step to being able to recover detail. Now, I'm just going to move the recovery slider, and we get back a lot more detail. So just boost and recovery did a much better job than using highlights, recovery, 
and a mix of other sliders. You can see if I click on the Show Original button how much brighter it is. I can also press the M key. By the way, if you hold down the Command key while moving these tone sliders, then you'll get Photoshop style overlays as well, as you can see here. Double clicking a slider takes it back to its default value. Now I can add a little bit of vibrancy or maybe some shadows to make the image look more pleasing. When I'm done, I click Save Changes. Now I'm back in the Photos Edit UI. Raw Power is fully non-destructive, so I can re-enter the extension and continue where I left off. Raw Power is also available as a standalone application. All the features in the extension are available here as well, and it is also fully non-destructive. In addition, the application version can export images as JPEGs or 16-bit TIFFs. This concludes the quick tour of Raw Power. Thank you for watching.